policy is made at the BMA by BMA members submitting, debating and passing motions, which then become BMA policy for implementation. This is a short guide to explain the journey of a motion from an idea to policy. All motions begin life as an idea. A member feels that something in the system is wrong, that change is needed in an aspect of the medical profession, or that they want to propose a new approach to policy. To achieve this, their first step is to draft a motion. It is time to draft your motion. For someone who has never done this before, or even those who have, this can be a daunting task, particularly the wording and format. However, there is a range of supporting material, including the Juniors Motion Writing Guidance available on the BMA Juniors Conference website and the Motion Writing Team. Email them at info.motions at bma.org.uk. It is also good practice to consult with other members in your region. If you are not sure who to contact, email info.jdc at bma.org.uk. Once you have drafted your motion, you must submit it to your regional or devolved nation Junior Doctors Committee Chair. If you don't know who that is, contact info.jdc at bma.org.uk for assistance. Your regional or devolved nation committee will consider all the motions submitted from members in that region at a meeting, usually the first meeting of the new year. They may tweak wording or rewrite some of the parts to make it more impactful. Then they submit their region or nation's motions to the Conference Agenda Committee. The Conference Agenda Committee is a group of elected members whose primary role is to ensure that the conference agenda is topical and stimulating and that the motions received from the regional and national committees are considered for the agenda and to consider where they fit. For motions not directly included to be debated at the conference, they may fall under one of three categories. 1. A motions are motions that already reflect current BMA policy. 2. If a motion is wide-ranging and affects more than one branch of practice, the Agenda Committee may ask for it to be transferred to the annual representative meeting for debate. 3. Because the Agenda Committee receives so many motions, they have to prioritise the motions they feel are most important or relevant for debate. This means that a lot of motions end up in the grey, meaning that they are not listed for debate. They may be debated if time allows, but this is rarely the case. However, at the conference, there is a ballot where members can vote for two or more motions from the grey sections to be debated. Motions that do make it to debate are categorised under particular themes. For example, a motion about study budgets would be under the education and training session, and a motion about night shift allowances would be under the terms and conditions section. The person who wrote the motion, or a representative from their region, usually proposes the motion for two minutes. Then the chair allows speakers for and against until the debate has finished or the conference wishes to move to a vote. There are three possible outcomes for any motion debated and voted on. Number one, the motion is carried and therefore becomes junior doctor's committee policy. Number two, the motion does not pass. And number three, the motion is taken as a reference, meaning the conference accepts the sentiment behind the motion but doesn't endorse the particular action the motion calls for. If your motion passes, it will go into the BMA policy book and after the annual general meeting of all the policies created at the ARM and branch of practice conferences, such as the Junior Doctors Conference, will be allocated to teams within the relevant departments of the BMA for implementation across the next session. That is a brief explanation of how motions go from being mere ideas to becoming BMA policy. I hope you found it helpful. For any questions you have about this, please contact the Junior Doctors Secretariat at info.jdc at bma.org.uk.